Hi, I'm Mackie McCamlish, and normally I'm drafting 8-4, and this is an actual 8-4 draft, but lately I've been doing more drafts where I don't report it so that I can focus and get better and stuff, and so this is one of those drafts. I'm going over the details from it now, so maybe we can all learn something from it. There's some interesting stuff in here. So let's see how this goes. Um, I open up the pack and pretty much decide to cut red and take shatter. I mean, I could take Argent and Armor, but uh, other than that, Tumble Magnet's the next closest thing, and I think Tumble Magnet is fine and safe, but I decide I like red, cut red. Maybe I can get a lot of red. Okay, um, this is more of a... Uh, let's do this. This is a pretty dicey pick. Uh, Furnace Celebration, Ratchet Bomb, and Grasp of Darkness, I think, are the choices. And I think maybe... I don't know, maybe Grasp is supposed to be the safe choice. Ratchet Bomb is sort of slow removal-ish. Not slow, I don't know what the word for it is. Sort of weird, play aroundable. Um, furnace Celebration I end up deciding to take because I like building Furnace Celebration decks. It's kind of fun to see what, if you can get it to work or not. So um, that's what I decided to go for. I mean, it is a little early. Usually they'll come around, but I decided to go for it early and get in there. Um... So, yeah, I think Chrome Steed is... I mean, I don't necessarily want to be Red Metalcraft, but what else am I going to take here? The Heart Stoker? He doesn't sacrifice and Tower of Calamities. Not really my style. I mean, maybe at this point I should say Infect is open and just grab a Corpse Skirts. I mean, we saw some Infect in the first pack. I mean, the second pack. Yeah, not that great. I mean, at this point, maybe I should be looking at Infect. Um, make sure the, uh, okay, sweet. Um, yeah, this, I think maybe Mana Mirror is not a bad grab here, or maybe grab and still Infection and start thinking Infect style, but Life Staff never hurt anybody, so that's my pick. Not sure what I think of it now. I think maybe it's not so bad. Now this one, I think for a while on Cisbear, obviously, because I feel like, man, I'm really missing the awesome effect that's going by. Maybe I messed that up, because red is not even showing up at all. But, decide to stick to my guns. I also weigh Galvanizer. Stick to my guns, grab a black mirror, think maybe I'll be black Metalcraft too, and that is what I do. So, yeah, uh, Liquid Melt Coating is a possibility with Shatter, Dark Steel Mirror, not so good, Vampires you can get later, Infect is still looking open, so I'm still kind of thinking I missed the Infect boat, but Mirror is on color, and I pray maybe I'll get an Embersmith. I mean, that's pretty much my plan, is to get make cards appear at this point, I think. Not, not, not too happy about that whole red thing I was going to do. Not much here. I guess Horizon Spellbomb. Another Infect, crappy Infect dude. Barbal Gear. Well, let's take a Barbal Gear. I don't, I don't, nothing I'm loving here. Mm, once again, wishing I was the Infect deck that I missed. And... Not much to be... Proud of from these packs. Take Dross Hopper because he's a sacrifice source. Nihil Spell Bomb would be fine as well. I guess. I feel like Dross Hopper, you might as well take the Dross Hopper with the Spell Bomb. Eh, maybe I should have taken the Spell Bomb. Yeah. Well, see, I wasn't. Sh mm. Yeah, I should have taken the Spell Bomb. That was bad. Um, cut the Infect Dude. Pray. I kind of like Insanguate, so I took it. I wasn't going to take the white anyway. And this dude, take a dude, whatever. These are auto picks. And we're into pack two. Um, so turn. this is a good pack for me. I wish I could take them all, but I can't. So I'm weighing Furnace Celebration part two with Barrage Ogre, Turn to Slag, even Volshock Replica. And it opinions isn't too bad. But And Trigon of Rage, obviously, is great. Uh, ultimately, I think... 
Mirage Ogre just goes so well with Furnace Celebration that you can't just let him go by. If you're going to play Furnace Celebration, you can't pass Barrage Ogre. And my hope is that Furnace Celebration is going to table because I'm hopefully the only person drafting a Furnace Celebration deck at the table. Because we only saw one and we took it. So maybe we are. Turn to Slag, it's hard to pass, but that's the pick. Um, really nothing I'm excited about here. Nihil Spellbump's probably the pick. I decided to take the proto Prototype Portal because it's a fun toy, and I never really gotten to use it, so maybe I'll get to use it. It could be cool. I'm not feeling like I have the best deck ever being made. Panic Spell Bomb's obviously a strong possibility on this one as a sacrifice source and on color, but Shatter's so powerful, so I take Shatter. Nothing else. I mean, everything. These are pretty. With as far as my strategy goes, these packs are pretty simple as far as choices. Ember Smith is super snap pick. Even with Turn of Slag out there, I've got some artifacts, and this is makes me feel very happy. Now I'm positive. Tumble Magnet's obviously a choice also, but I think Ember Smith is the choice there. Shatter over what? Nothing. Okay, so Shatter is the choice. Red is obviously coming around this time. And... Uh, this is a tough one. I think maybe Panic Spellbomb wouldn't be bad, but Culling Dias can consistently Dias can consistently get my one Furnace Celebration working properly, so that is why I pick it. Uh, with multiple Shatters, Liquid Metal Coating starts to get pretty silly, so... Plus, I could have Barrage Ogre start throwing lands, which is like my favorite thing ever. So... This is pretty easy. He's a, he's a sacrifice source, but he doesn't have as much synergy as Liquid Metal Coating for my deck. Um, yeah, Blade Opinion is probably the pick here. Yeah, if I had to choose change one thing in this draft, I think... You want all this, a lot of sacrifice sources, but I haven't picked up anything in Flying, so you're really relying on Furnace Celebration to Barrage Ogre. Dross Hopper to uh, handle the skies, so this is pretty dicey. I think either the shield or the pinions would have been better than... And I, I, I felt it when I picked this. I'm like, eh, I can always get this guy. So this was bad. It was bad. Uh, take the most annoying card. Take the most annoying card. Grab a rebirth because... It works with the Furnace Celebration. Most annoying card, most annoying card, most annoying card, most annoying card. Okay, last pick one. I really want... Oh, and we noticed the Furnace Celebration did not table, so somebody took it. Some bastard took our Furnace Celebration. And speaking of tabling, I'm thinking Mere Propagator is really cool for my... for this deck, because I can be calling Deus and, you know, throw him in a bucket or whatever, sets him on fire and get all sorts of Furnace Celebration going. One Furnace Celebration. But I'm thinking he's going to table, so nobody ever wants him. So I will take Tumble Magnet, which can save you when you things do stuff. He would have been the next pick. And On Color Mirror for my sort of black crap wouldn't be awful. And Fume Spitter's not bad, but... Maybe I should have taken Fumes better. He's even, yeah. He's good against air too, like little plague stingers and crap. Yeah, I mean, we can't see the mana curve right here, but I think Fume Spitter was overlooked. I don't think I saw it. I think I was too blinded by hoping to get this, and then I took that. Yeah, I don't know. This is Sacrifice Source too. I think that was stupid. Fume Spitter. Yes. Mistakes. This is a good process. We're learning from this. It is good to review the drafts. Um, Golem Artisan's cool. Blade Opinions is arguable. I'm low on creature count, although we can't see it, so I think that is why I took the Golem Artisan over, and I didn't need another Shatter. I mean, how many? Three Shatters. It's a lot of Shatter. Um, I'm happy to pick this dude up. I like sacrificing him. I've already got a Deus. Not much else for me. 
so that's fine. The effect is going to be strong. Um, him, this is like Bleak Coven, Vampires vs. Gear Grabber vs. Yeah. And I feel like Gear Grabber is more situational and more expensive. Not worth it for the extra one toughness. And I, I kind of want to be sometimes Metalcraft. So take the Vampires. And a late for a celebration, which I snap up over Trigon of Rage and other good things, because it makes my deck actually possibly work. Um, didn't want anything, took another rebirth. This I kind of weighed, and I think this is another case where I blindly took the Daredevil over. I mean, he's expensive, and I already had three five drops by then. Well, Tangle Cord. Without green is not the best, but it doesn't fit the... I mean, it kind of fits the style of putting up a wall and then blasting people with all sorts of things that they can't block because it's direct. So it, it could have kind of fit. I don't think I'm ever going to play two Daredevils, so that was just... It's better to like hate the Icker Claw or something, or this dude, than to take that. That is wretched. That is a wretched pick. And I'm not going to play three Rebirths, am I? I mean... Might as well just take Disperse or the Flight Spell Bomb here. <clears throat> so nobody's in effect. I obviously would have had an amazing effect deck, but I think that's one of the one of the. I mean, it wouldn't have been a, there was no tangle. I didn't. There was no effect rares that I noticed, so it wouldn't have been amazing, amazing, but it would have been fully functional for sure. Uh, with you know all sorts of untamed might and tainted strike actions. So. Cool. Somebody passed the in, in, infect deck this time. Um, take cards. He's probably not going to put in a late gear grabber, which I'm happy to grab because he's not that bad. And if I, I mean, I can side him in for gear type playing dudes with like Sun Spear Shikaris. Um, Dross Hopper is fine. Sacrifice dude. I mean, obviously, one of the bad parts about Infect is you're playing, I mean, not Infect, Vernus Celebration, if you embrace it too hard, you're playing Dross Hoppers and crap. So that is the draft portion. Um, Let's look at the deck that I built in Magic. Um, so here was the deck that I played with. I did use Exsanguate, three five drops. Decided to check out the prototype portal. Um, I main boarded Dark Steel Mirror, which is a little dicey. Let me s if I jump into Photoshop. You can see here's the cards that I didn't use. Take a good glance at those. Um, yeah, well, I didn't really have much else I was going to play. I could have played Monarch Reaver or some total crap. I The only real decent card I had left behind, I, mean, I left Gear Grabber behind, so I don't think you need him main deck. Um, Barb Battle Gear, I left behind. My guys aren't, I don't know. Didn't, didn't fit the theme. Um... So yeah, not too much to handle air, and enough furnace, and enough celebrating, enough sha uh, enough sacrificing that it can work. So that is the deck. I did six swamps, thrust mountains, and I had two on color mirrors, so I was happy about mana. Um, and now we're going to watch some replays and see how it worked.